and welcome to the Ultimate Contact Sheet Slideshow uh, customization tutorial. In this video, we're going to cover uh, replacing your photos in the slideshow. So the first thing we're going to do is go to our project panel, go to our folder labeled Replace Photos here, twirl that down, and we're going to open our first composition, Replace Photo 01. In this tutorial, we'll just replace, um, show you how to replace one of the photos, and you'll repeat that process for each um, of the 50 photos, or however many you want to use. So uh, if we double click on that composition, we have it opened in our comp viewer and in our timeline. You'll see this placeholder composition uh, that's viewable. You can turn that off in the timeline by clicking on the eyeball icon. So now we're going to import our photo. We'll go to File, Import, File. Navigate to the folder where you have your photos and we'll select one and click open and you'll find our JPEG in the project panel and all you do is select that photo and drag it into your timeline. There we go and as you'll see it's a little big so if you twirl down that layers options go to the transform properties uh, go to the scale property and you can scrub these numbers down and you can move the photo layer inside the comp viewer there we go and if we go back to our render comp and go to our first photo scene you'll see that our photo has been updated now let's say this photo um, was portrait or vertically oriented. Let's go back to our placeholder photos, file import and then file, and we'll pick a photo that is vertically oriented. Click open. Let's go back to our replace photo 01 composition and we'll drag our new photo into the layer stack on top of our old photo. And if we go back to our photo comp, you'll see in the render comp, it's not exactly what we want. Let's go back to the replace photo 01 composition. Um, you're going to twirl down to our layer properties or transform properties, go to rotation, and we're going to rotate this 90 degrees. And you can also scale that if you want, if you like. Um, and we also have a guide layer here. I'll solo that so you can see it. And just a little reminder um, for portrait or vertical images that you want to rotate at 90 degrees. So just in case you forget, there's that handy little notes. And if we go to our project panel, go down to our scenes folder, video, oh, photo scenes, and double click to open the photo 01 scene. As you can see, our animation is horizontal or landscape oriented. And all we need to do is turn on the portrait camera layer in the timeline. And you just click on the eyeball icon or click on where the eyeball icon would be. Turn that on. And now our image and our animation is uh, oriented the correct way. And of course, if you want to switch back, you just turn off the camera. When it's back to landscape, turn on the portrait and it's back to portrait. So just repeat that uh, process for each of the photo compositions.